Hi, everyone. My name is Ted Stevenson. I'm the lead teacher in the high school English department. I'm going to talk briefly about one of the commonly used standards in high school English, and it happens to be a standard I'm using in my 10th grade English classes right now. So I'm actually going to show you an exercise I do with the kids to help them understand the standard and to get some feedback on their work as we build up toward um, assessing the, the students on the standard. So I'm going to screen share so you can see the assignment. Okay, this, um, this assignment is called English 10 Student Work Discussion, and this is using real student work samples to talk about the proficiency scale and to help students think about what a one, two, three, four level work looks like. Okay, so the standard we're focusing on is reading literature, standard four as written by the uh, Department of Education. Okay, the three column is considered mastery, and that is taken directly from the language in the standard as written for 10th graders by the Department of Education. Okay, to receive a four, they have to achieve the upper level skill, which would be the 1112 standard written by the Department of Ed. And then the two and the one are taken from the standards language from uh, lower grade levels. Okay, so this one is really about connecting the um, specific keywords in a text to the overall meaning of a text. In this case, we're talking about poems because that's the unit we're doing. So I'm asking students, as you can see in the prompt down here, to identify a keyword in this poem, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, then to explain why it's a keyword, and then analyze how that word conveys or develops the theme of the poem. Okay, and you can kind of see how the language in this prompt reflects the language in the standard. Okay, the key skill here is to analyze. That's taken from the three AKA the mastery box. The two is to connect words to meaning. And then the first box is really about determining important words and identifying them. The four adds this skill at the end where students are talking about multiple meanings of a word and then talking about how those words, um, you know, create uh, beautiful or engaging passages in the work. Okay, so let's look at some student work samples real quick. All right, these first two examples in this box are um, examples that would receive a one because they are mainly identifying keywords and then maybe explaining why they're keywords, but not even starting to make connections between uh, the keywords and the overall meaning of the poem. Okay, this example in the two box, is doing a pretty good job of identifying keywords, establishing the meaning of the poem, and then starting to make connections between the keywords and the overall meaning. But it's coming up short a little bit on any sort of logical explanation of how or why the keywords are conveying or developing the theme of that poem. And then this example is what would receive a three. So this, this one is doing everything that the two did. It's identifying keywords, it's establishing a theme. And then as it's connecting the keywords to the theme, it's also taking the analysis to another level where it's creating a kind of logical explanation or line of reasoning as to how the keywords uh, relate to and develop um, the overall meaning of the poem. All right, hope that was helpful. Thank you for your time. I'll just hop down here and have a great night.